All right, this is SteamWorld Dig 2, submitted for SGDQ 2019, but we might do it some other event. You never know. This is a task made by Keely. Oops, that's the wrong window. Made by Keely. Here is the submission info right here. This was um, Keely right here. This was released uh, this year. And uh, Keely also made the framework of libtest that this is made in, which is awesome. You can find this on taskvideos.org slash 6112s for the submission notes. And taskvideos.org slash 3827m for the actual publication. So we're going to start this, and inevitably it's going to bork the first time I try it. But here goes. And yes, I realize that there are... Uh, there are some bars up on top and bottom, but we'll deal. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully, this is printing in a place where we can actually see it. It is. Okay. So, I'm just going to let this run. Uh, I am not equipped or qualified, even remotely, to provide commentary on this. However, I have actually played this game and considered speedrunning it at one point, because it's just such a fun game. This is a wonderful indie game. Highly recommend it. Uh, it maybe doesn't have the best plot, I guess. That's probably the only thing that might be weak, but the gameplay is so solid. Um, and that damage is intentional. He just doesn't care. <laughs> And yes, please do watch your language here at all times because it makes my video editor angry when he has to go undo it. <laughs> this is fun. So this, this opening section, unlike the earlier game, it's not procedurally generated. So this game is, uh, unlike the first Steam World, it's consistent in its locations, but the resources are randomized, although that's obviously fixed for a task. Yeah, I don't want an angry video editor. My vi main video editor is Angelwind, who is amazing. Obviously, health means nothing, so run right over that. That opens up a, a, a warp location for later. That'll come in handy. That is cheating. <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to get through there. So there's also one spot here. You're not supposed to be here. You are now way advanced in the game at this point. That's a massive sequence break. Although it's also an RTA viable one, to the best of my knowledge. So that was a very interesting technique. It was opening up the portal and dying at the same time. But by entering town that way, you skip a bunch of cutscenes. That I do know, because I've played the game. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to be here right now. Also, avoiding those spikes like that was disgusting. So again, open a portal. Um, you're back in town. Now you're in the normal entrance. This is how you would usually start. Hey, actually hearing you say that this is pretty impressive to someone who hasn't seen any of the game before, that's awesome to hear. Because I actually enjoy this. One of the things that makes this game so much fun is you sort of build out your level as you go. You kind of decide where you want to go, where, where you want to dig your tunnels. You can cause yourself great peril if you're not careful. Especially with those cacti. Okay, that was a pretty ridiculous little... <laughs> now you can go look on taskvideos.org in that submission page, and you can see in the submission notes all of the glitches and tricks that were used. So that yeah, that was a ladder zip. What, what percentage of this game is traveling salesman? I imagine there's a heck of a lot of routing. Now, the good news is, like a lot of tool-assisted speedruns, there's a fair bit of... How do I say this? There's a fair bit of back and forth between the tool-assisted community and the real-time runners. And the real-time community figured out certain routes that worked. 
and this task was initially based on those, but modified to take advantage of glitches that are tasks only, or at least are not easily RTA viable. Yeah, brute force with minor optimizations, but it's a solution. Eh, you might be right about that. So one of the things that's happening here is collecting specific power-ups. So these are almost like puzzles. They're specific rooms that are predefined. And some of the ways that this puzzle is being worked through is, is actually kind of amusing to me. Some of these puzzles are especially tricky. This one is hard to figure out the first time you play it. So right there, you have to get all of these in just the right location. And that little bit of maneuvering so you don't die is pretty impressive. Also note the extra collection of resources for money purchases later. <laughs> Please buy my new cryptocurrency where you mine new coins by generating a faster SteamWorld Dig 2 task. I can just see the movie guy doing that. <laughs> my chair seems to be sinking. Hang on. <laughs> like, I realized... I was getting lower and lower as, as the stream was progressing. Okay, so now we have the jackhammer. And that allows you to get through these harder materials faster. It's one of the most important upgrades. At least for this task. It does consume water. Which, um... Where is water being shown? I think water is being shown off screen, which is a problem. Let me try to... Yeah, I think the water gauge is way up here. It's actually off screen. Let me try something dumb, uh, just to see what happens. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to momentarily disrupt you. Well, that helps. Now you can see more of the screen. <laughs> now, let me hide this as well. out of your way. Ha! I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Sorry for the minor disruption of your video gameplay. Um, this is not a proper console verification. <laughs> Whoa! Love that. I love Super Dragon. Okay, so now we, we basically have this hookshot, and it it gets abused. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The hookshot is even abusable real-time. I've done a lot of crazy things, because you can you can fling yourself. It's, and if you use it right before you hit the ground, you stop your, your fall damage. Normally, if you had done that, you would be in much more pain. Zip. This is just such an entertaining run. I really think we should submit it. Even if it doesn't get in for SGDQ, I think this has potential for any number of, of possible events. We might even show it ourselves if nobody else does. <laughs> okay, so those carts are a bit of a... Wow, that was really fast. Those carts are a bit of a pain, and the speed at which these are being maneuvered is pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, God. I remember this puzzle. It was not that easy. Because you ha it's like... Uh, the worst Sokoban you've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, shutting the cart while it's still moving. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me send a tweet out. Not Duango AD, that would be the wrong thing. Just outrun the arrows, huh? So this is stupid. You would never, ever do this. Normally there's a safe spot on the far right side of the room you can just camp in, but it's a task, so why not mess around? <laughs> it is legitimate. They really make you wait in this room. 
There you go. That was so much swag. By the way, swag, swag I'm going to make that. I, I think that's a pretty good emote idea. So as uh, if you're just joining us, obviously, I did just get Twitch Partner, which is awesome. Thank you for everyone who supported me in that. My intent is to fill out these 16 emote slots I have with all kinds of things, and one of them is, in fact, going to be Tash Swag. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. What I like about this game is even if you don't actually know anything about it, it just seems so solid. There's nothing wasted here. Uh, I am trying to get my partner prefix to be TAS. I, in fact, sub uh, submitted a support ticket with Twitch today. As it was one of the first things I did after becoming a Twitch partner. I sent an email as a partner in their support system and opened a ticket asking for the prefix TAS with a fallback of TASB in case I can't get TAS. I'm unaware of anyone who has a prefix of TAS. So if you look around and find it, let me know. Thank you so much, super dude. Okay. How are we not dead? Dropping... Dropping this right on our head. So every time you go to the surface, you regenerate health, which can be kind of handy. Yeah, and, and I don't think there is either, which is why I'm very hopeful I can get it. I make a really good case, too. I'm like, the reason I want TAS is because I literally am ambassador for TAS videos. I am the spokesperson, if you will, for TAS content. Now, you note that he didn't actually bother doing anything with that particular entry point because it isn't used. So he didn't open that, uh, that portal back to the surface, the, the chute. There's other chutes that can be used instead. You're not supposed to be in here 10, 15 minutes into the game, by the way. Oh, that fall. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whew. Oh, there's something going on here. Hang on. That's a problem. Let me fix that. Uh, I need to get this moved down. sec. There's something funny right here. I can't make any sense of what it is. It is the C922. I was right. There, I fixed it. <laughs> Whew, got it. Oh, media magnet. Oh, no. Well, darn. So I guess I'll ask for task B then. So I'll probably get task B. I, what, what good do you think contacting that streamer will do? See if they want to trade. <laughs> I could get, I could get uh, Tass Bot as the. Yeah, and we'll have a look into that. How do you know they haven't streamed in a long time? Whoa! So yeah, I did give them the option of TASB as my second, and it'd be good enough. Wow, that is fast. Sorry I'm not paying as much attention to this as I should. I'm just super excited that I, just mere hours ago I became a Twitch partner. That's just so awesome. <laughs> Their recent videos are from, from five years ago. Wow. So are they a partner? Hey, thanks very much for that cheer. I appreciate it. 
Well, I mean, I've contacted Twitch, so we'll see what happens. Do they have any emotes that start with pass? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tass GS, Tass PD, and Tass Pumpers? That sounds terrible. <laughs> those, those do sound pretty bad. Well, the good news is there's not going to be a single bit of, of overflow on that emote prefix. <laughs> Uh, presumably there is no one... Don't subscribe to him, please. <laughs> don't draw any more attention to this guy than you have to. <laughs> um, but hopefully they'll look at it and go, okay, they're not using it, and uh, we'll see what happens. But... One thing I can say, though, Twitch is pretty good about not taking partner away, and I'm very thankful for that. Yeah, the, I have to say, sine wave really made it possible for me to have a lot of the attention I currently have. What? That was cool. Uh, a lot of the attention I currently have is because of sine wave. What is their stream name, or is it a bad stream name you shouldn't type on stream that's being put on YouTube? <laughs> Thank you so much about that, a solid plasma. I'm super happy to have that. Um, By the way, Solid Plasma. Covering that up, but Bedlam Ball, go check it out. Bedlam Ball is a very, very cool thing. It is a game and you should play it. Oh, so sorry. Mic bump, mic bump. Dunk. So yes, go play Bedlam Ball. Uh, those toucan things were always really obnoxious. I love the people in the background just shaking their fists. <laughs> just let's just show off what we can. So, store.steampowered.com, blah, 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 Bedlam Ball. It's right there in my chat. Go grab that game, because it's fun. I hope to eventually do a tool-assisted speedrun of it, since he's made it possible to do that. He added Linux support. Solid Plasma added Linux support at my request, and I'm very thankful for that. I love that she's just standing there. <laughs> Such a good boss battle. I have to tell you, it's terrifying. Especially when those bullets start flying at you. <laughs> so well done. So, so well done. Now, there's a lot of backstory you have to understand from the previous game. So, we're hauling the protagonist of the first game out. <coughs> and I really love how they did this. I know I somewhat knocked the plot as lackluster earlier, but this part is surprisingly touching. Solid Plasma, adding stuff to a game right before a game developer concert, conference is, in fact, 
the <laughs> the epitome of <laughs> indie game development. <laughs> By the way, the town didn't fare well. Okay, so that's the end of the movie. That's the, that's the last input required to finish the game. So I'm gonna, now I hit pause break and it's now playing out the end of the run. So this game is worth it. Um, gotta tell you, I really enjoyed playing SteamWorld Dig 2. I think this would be a solid foundation for uh, a, a run at any GDQ event, an ESA event if we're ever able to go to Europe. Uh, it'd be great for a I don't know, Bot Bash Charity Brawl? We're doing our own marathon. I don't know if you guys know this, but we're doing our own marathon, December 7th, benefiting Toys for Tots. It's gonna be a Bot Bash Charity Brawl involving actual BattleBots robots and in the in a in miniaturized form and actual honest-to-goodness BattleBots drivers doing a tournament for charity. You can find that on December 7th, and you'll find more information uh, in our Discord at discord.taspot.net under the Bot Bash Dev channel. If you have any interest in helping out, with a BattleBots team and have any interest in helping us make macros, head on over to that channel and give us a hand. Lots going on there. <coughs> I'm gonna let these credits play out because this game is epic enough to be worth it. I love that there's a check mark. Rebuild civilization. And then there's find Fen because Fen didn't make it. We don't know where he is. I would love to see them come out with another game of this series. It's so much fun. So, Bobbis, basically, uh, Bot Bash Charity uh, Marathon is going to really be, effectively, a, a uh, TAS a thon. Because be between Bot Bash uh, Brawls, or Bot Brawls, we're going to be doing runs of Tool Assistant Speedrun content to intermingle with everything else. And TAS Bot will be in full battle ready formation, which should be pretty epic. There's a new one that was announced. It's card-based combat. That's not the same type of game. Thanks so much for those cheers, guys. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I absolutely got Twitch Partner. I can't believe it. There is a there is a, already a task bot that is a battle bot formation. Uh, he's 150 grams, so you know, kind of a third of a pound. But <laughs> so super dude, awesome. Uh, hop in. You're gonna find some of the old hands hanging around there. And it's going to be pretty cool. Sine wave <laughs> needs to be done by December 7th. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Sine wave is an instrumental part in making that all happen. It's a pretty incredible process to be able to put all the tools together to run something as crazy as a Games Done Quick event.